raising the IQ and bankrolls of sports bettors everywhere. The Better IQ Podcast is your source for sports betting information, analysis, and opinions. Learn. Bet. Win. Better IQ. Good afternoon and welcome to the Better IQ Podcast. I'm your host, Andrew Lang. NBA on the docket here for Wednesday. We got, uh, what, a seven-play card. We'll get through every single game, try to give you as many uh, thoughts, betting opinions here uh, with our guest, uh, Aaron Renning. And uh, speaking of uh, which, got a good discount on Aaron Renning's NBA here for today. He's got three selections going for uh, tonight. Uh, You can get all three plays. They're normally $20 individually. How about three plays? Just $29. That's on the uh, front page at Better IQ. Three NBA plays, uh, less than 10 bucks per play uh, with uh, Aaron Rennie. If you're new to us, real quick, easy to sign up, get locked and loaded, and get all three selections here for uh, tonight for just $29. Any questions, call us at 1-866-923-8867. All right, let's welcome in and break down some NBA. ER, how are you this afternoon? I'm doing good, Andrew. Ready to talk uh, NBA action. Kind of a strange schedule, it seems like. Uh, the NBA has done a a good job of spreading all these games out. But, um, yeah, just one of the rare weeks where we just don't have a real small card. Uh, eight games last night, seven games on Wednesday, six games tomorrow night. So, uh, you know, you <laughs> just a little bit strange. Usually Tuesday is kind of a down card. Wednesday you get a big card. And Thursday is generally a few games. Friday, there's only eight games as well. So uh, everything's uh, extremely spread out. Uh, and uh, let's see if we can spread out some winners here and uh, talk some NBA tonight. Aaron, I don't see any injuries on my screen. And the reason I bring that up is a pretty big move here with Detroit head to a Brooklyn. Uh, Detroit opened up as a, a one-point favorite. It wasn't there long. You could tell because Pinnacle opened a two. But Brooklyn now as high as three. Still a couple of two-and-a-halves with juice. Two sixteen-and-a-half the total. Yeah, no uh, no real line – or I'm sorry, no real injuries in this game, at least as yet. Uh, I uh, feel like the injuries have already been up quite a bit. Uh, this year in the NBA, although they, uh, again, the league goes out of their way to have no back-to-back situations, etc. Uh, Detroit uh, started off 4-0 and before back-to-back losses against Boston. They were somewhat embarrassed on Saturday night against the Celtics, uh, losing by 20 on their home court, 109-89. Fired back with a, a good uh, effort last night. So frustrating as I had played the Celtics over the total in a couple of games and got great line movement, etc. For uh, a few reasons, it didn't work out. And then last night, uh, pretty high-scoring first half with Detroit against Boston and um, uh, really slowed down in the third quarter. Uh, before kind of a foul fest late to get that game over the total. It's just kind of the way uh, seems the luck uh, is rolling with some of this stuff. But anyway, see how Detroit fires back. Interesting. I kind of like both these teams uh, this year. And uh, Blake Griffin said after the game uh, last uh, night, and he, you know, made a good point. He said we're probably not as talented as the Celtics. But, uh, you know, it seems like the effort, uh, and the uh, chemistry has been better uh, without Van Gundy involved this year. Meanwhile, the Nets on a three-game slide, uh, losing to New Orleans, uh, Golden State, and boy, uh, pretty poor showing the other night against the Knicks. I would expect this team uh, to fire back with a pretty strong effort uh, in this contest uh, tonight. And, you know, most of the starters the other night against the Knicks, uh, were really poor. Uh, they only had about 20, 25 points, uh, from their starters, uh, in that game. So I looked for that to, uh, fire back here, uh, in this game. So, uh, we'll see how it uh, works out, uh, kind of a buy on both these teams. Uh, and, uh, yeah, some play, uh, over the total. I agree with that move here today. Denver, they head to uh, Chicago. Bulls have had one of the odder three-game stretches uh, heading into this game. They allowed 135 uh, on the road against the Hornets. Then they fired back, Aaron, and won 97-85. to So they allowed 135, then they allowed 85, and then last time out they allowed 149 points. Uh, 149-124 losers there uh, to the uh, Golden State uh, Warriors. Warriors, uh, Clay Thompson breaking records. Uh, how do they uh, fire back here against uh, Denver? They're catching eight. Total's really been played down, Aaron. Five points down to 221 and a half. 
you know, the Bulls are bad, and it certainly showed once again the other night, two and five, three and four straight up, and the defense was uh, really poor. And, yeah, you mentioned it's kind of a weird thing with the Chicago Bulls. Uh, how does a team that holds Atlanta to 85 points uh, sandwiched around or, I guess, sandwiched in between 135, 149-point efforts? Well, uh, from a talent perspective, they are up against it uh, to a certain degree, uh, uh, from a defensive standpoint, actually, I just read Jabari Parker is going to start uh, tonight after he's been coming off the bench. Boy, it is awfully difficult for this Bulls team to play uh, Zach Levine and um, uh, Jabari Parker at the same time because they are just so bad uh, defensively. So we'll see how it works out uh, tonight against Denver. Uh, but I would expect this team to fire back with at least some sort of defensive effort uh, tonight. Meanwhile, Denver, um, so far so good for this team. Uh, although uh, a couple of back-to-back losses, the number kind of catch uh, catches up with them. Uh, the bright side here for Denver is uh, playing some pretty good defense uh, so far. You know, they started off the campaign holding three teams uh, under 100 points, including Golden State. Uh, the numbers have gone up just a little bit. Uh, allowing 111, 121, and 112 to Sacramento. Uh, uh, or, sorry, 111 to New Orleans, 121 to the Lakers, 112 uh, to Sacramento. But, you know, interesting, and I like to hear it. I mean, they are, you know, they talk about they talk about defense after the game. They talk about how they could have done a better job, especially here recently. So the focus is definitely that. That's why this Denver team uh, certainly ranking in the top five from a defensive efficiency standpoint. That's why they are five and one. Uh, here tonight, I do lean here uh, once again to Denver, uh, also uh, uh, under the total here at this price. Indiana, they head to uh, New York. Uh, got the uh, Pacers, uh, six-point favorites, five and a half at a couple of uh, shops there. Another total that's really been played under pretty heavy, 211.5 the opener, uh, down to as low as 207. Yeah, absolutely. A uh, big move here uh, with the total. Um, some interesting moves uh, all the way around with some of this stuff. But um, Indiana uh, off a loss themselves. They got beat the other night at Portland. It's kind of funny because, you know, the Pacers are a team. I remember last year they started off playing a super fast pace uh, for a handful of games before it died down. They kind of did that so far this year. Uh, the first two games were lightning fast against Memphis and Milwaukee. Uh, to some extent, Brooklyn, uh, but the games have kind of slowed down from a pace perspective here. Uh, certainly hurt them the other night, scoring only 93 points uh, in that game. But, um, you know, I, I believe the schedule has been pretty tough uh, for Indiana, Memphis, Milwaukee, Brooklyn uh, at Minnesota, San Antonio, and Cleveland came back against Portland. I uh, do lean he, uh, uh, to them here against the Knicks. Uh, the Knicks, uh, you know, certainly they've talked about it. It is a developmental situation uh, for them. They had dropped five straight games uh, before that nice win against Brooklyn, but wouldn't be surprised to see them bounce uh, off that effort. Uh, the Knicks have recently made some adjustments to their starting lineup. Again, kind of playing some young players, not probably offensively as skilled. Uh, certainly probably why we get uh, the line move in this one. Utah, they head to uh, Minnesota. My screen says Jimmy Butler is out due to rest. It should say insubordination as the uh, saga <laughs> continues here, Aaron. And uh, as a result, uh, the markets have responded here as Utah opened two and a half, now six and a half across the uh, board, two, or 221 the uh, total. It is a mess. Uh, Jimmy Butler could not, uh, wasn't seemingly getting his way uh, while playing for Minnesota. So he said, well, screw it. I'm just going to sit out some games till I get my way. So I don't know what kind of fine uh, he's able to get or how he's going to get paid for these games, but it is bad in, in Minnesota uh, at this point, essentially forcing his way out. I guess you know, the only thing I don't understand about that, Andrew, is if you want out and you want to be forced out, you know, he's made it so vocal. And maybe, you know, again, I don't know um, some of the some some of the factors that have gone in it. But, you know, at this point, nobody's going to give him anything <laughs> because uh, essentially a fire sale. Uh, nobody's going to give up anything when we they know Butler is wants out so bad. So. You know, you would think that maybe some of these young players from Minnesota would rally uh, around Butler being out and kind of show them, hey, 
Uh, you're not the reason for our success, but that hasn't happened uh, whatso- uh, whatsoever. Uh, I know he missed the game uh, at Dallas. They lost that game 140 uh, to 136. Jeff Teague also out for this game. It did sound like Wiggins was hopefully – uh, going to be back for the Minnesota T-Wolves, but uh, it is a mess. It shows in the line movement here. Uh, Utah should be good to go. Everybody's going to be available here. Uh, doing really well on this three-game road trip. How about 3-0? and 3-0 and against the spread. I won't be surprised if that happens at least 4-0 and straight up uh, in this game, but a little truck uh, tough to recommend Minnesota. Boy, this one uh, as low as 2.5 this morning, all the way up to 6.5 now uh, over the T-Wolves tonight. New Orleans, they head to uh, Golden State. Looks like Davis, Anthony Davis upgraded to uh, Probable. Markets responding. Golden State opened 12, now 9.5, 238.5 the total. Yeah, certainly good news for New Orleans. I was surprised um, Davis sat out as much as he did or the second game, uh, but he had a bad elbow, <laughs> I guess. So uh, he's back, and you know, without him, you could clearly uh, see, and everybody understands how much he uh, means to this team, offensively, defensively, just every single thing you can think of. Uh, as they go 0 and 2 without him, a 21 point loss to Utah, five point loss the other night uh, against Denver. So that makes this game that much more uh, exciting. Um, Golden State actually playing pretty good basketball here. They've won five straight. They've covered uh, four of five. They seem to be, you know, the the chemistry is very good. They enjoy playing with one another. Boy, that offense has been pretty amazing here, Andrew. 123, 144, 128, 120, and 149 points uh, their last five games. Although, I will say this, Phoenix, Washington, New York, uh, not as much Brooklyn, but certainly Chicago. Those are all pretty much bottom five uh, defensive teams uh, in the NBA. So the task uh, will be a little bit tougher uh, here tonight against New Orleans. But this total still played up, and boy, it should be a, a lightning pass, a uh, lightning uh, fast game here tonight. Hey, don't forget three plays for Aaron Rennie tonight on the uh, NBA card. Some of which uh, we've uh, discussed. You get all three selections. Uh, for the discounted rate of uh, $29, check that out, uh, front page at betteriq.com. Uh, Spurs, they're in uh, Phoenix. Uh, Booker out. We know uh, Booker, one of the more uh, over-centric uh, players in the NBA. He's dealing with a hamstring uh, injury. Total's been played down, Aaron, 219 to 214, 214 and a half with uh, the Spurs' seven-point road chalk. Yeah, Phoenix is uh, really struggling here to a certain extent because uh, obviously Booker's out. They wanted to make him kind of a James Harden type player. We know how much James Harden means to the uh, Houston Rockets. Uh, And also uh, their backup point guard uh, is going to be out as this one. Isaiah Kanan uh, has a sprained ankle. Uh, here in this one tonight. So uh, he is going to be unavailable uh, from a ball handler perspective uh, for the scene at Phoenix Suns as well. So it's uh, Eli uh, Okobo, I believe. I'm not even sure how to pronounce it. So you know uh, that they're kind of beat up from a guard perspective here uh, tonight. So I'm not exactly sure what uh, they are going to do uh, from that situation. But anyway, uh, it's not good. Uh, that's why you see a lot of money, obviously, uh, under the total in this one. I was actually surprised it opened 219 all the way down to, I see, a 213.5 uh, for this game. You know, the Spurs have been uh, interesting. Boy, a tough loss for us the other night. Uh, we played the Spurs Dallas under the total. We get a great number. I mean, just a lot of things have to go wrong for that game to go to uh, overtime. And they certainly did uh, as the Spurs eventually beat Dallas 113-108. to You know, the Spurs team is certainly not the defensive team that they've been in the past. From the efficiency standpoint, they rank 21st. Interested to see if they're going to be able to improve on that. But the personnel uh, just isn't what it was uh, for this team to defend. Uh, but still, they're not playing at all, all that quick of a pace. So 219 seemed like a pretty tall uh, total. But again, that is uh, played down in this one. Uh, and yeah, and interesting to see how Phoenix uh, Phoenix going to be able to score, uh, how efficient here tonight against the Spurs. So really, uh, it's a game set up for the Spurs to kind of improve from a defensive standpoint. Last game, nightcap, Dallas and uh, L.A. taking on the uh, Lakers. Both teams 2-5. and five. Lakers bet up a little bit, 7, uh, now uh, 7.5. High total, 235.5. 
Yeah, you know, the Lakers are garnering plenty of respect here in the marketplace, which you would guess with LeBron James. But right now, two and five straight up, two and five against the spread. You know, I'll say the one thing here, Andrew. I mean, you know, we've seen LeBron James guide and not really as much him guiding uh, to a certain degree. I mean, he played the most minutes in the NBA last year and he, you know, was ultra efficient. But, you know, in the Eastern Conference, you could kind of guide or glide. Uh, through a lot of the season at the Western Conference, uh, you just can't do that. The schedule has been pretty tough here uh, for this Laker team. Portland, Houston, San Antonio, Phoenix, Denver, San Antonio, and Minnesota. I don't think it's going to get a whole lot easier uh, for the Lakers. This team uh, still tries to come together, back-to-back losses, tight games, uh, a lot of close games here. Uh, for the Lakers uh, really all season long. So I uh, wouldn't be surprised to, to see that happen, which I'm, you know, seven seems a little bit tall uh, for this team. Dallas uh, on their own slide here, they've lost four straight games. Three of the goals of those have been on the road. Um, but this team has certainly uh, shown some fight from an athletic perspective, from a defensive perspective. It's still not quite there. Uh, for this uh, Dallas Mavericks team. So I didn't have uh, any play. My lines were uh, the total and uh, where I made this side uh, right in uh, right in line where this was. So interested, uh, I'll be watching this game tonight, uh, but uh, no bet on it uh, in the nightcap tonight, Andrew. Great stuff here from uh, Aaron Renning. Again, three plays, just 29 bucks. better IQ. Also, uh, we got uh, football uh, selections. Uh, coming in here uh, today, best bets. You get those uh, combo packs, opportunity to get multiple uh, two-unit uh, selections. Those are our top-rated plays here at Better IQ. Uh, multiple plays at a discounted rate. You can get five in college uh, football for 116 or four in the NFL for uh, $99. And go ahead and lock those in here for the uh, weekend. Any questions, uh, call us, 1-866-923-8867, or drop us an email, support at betteriq.com. Okay, that'll wrap up the show. Enjoy the rest of your evening. We'll be back tomorrow with Eddie Wallace talking college football.